Hello everybody and welcome once again to all the mods for as you can see I finished off the volcano excavation there's not very much left of it just there's a hole here uh, let's have a quick look at that so just a hole at the very bottom of that which we're not going to go down to we should see um, a block of obsidian I can just see the block of obsidian if I press shift on here I was just pressing um, sorry I'm just pressing um, control instead of shift or caps lock you see there's a block of obsidian just down there so, <clears throat> so I can get out of here normally you can't jump up this high but because I've got on these boots I think I've got it on my boots yes I have got multi jump too it means we can press the space bar twice and get out I'd like that and he gives us a little puff of white smoke quite quick quite cool i think i did some farming and i've also been all the way around the, the village now putting a wall the next thing i'd like to do here is to make a little moat around here uh, well when i say moat i'm not going to fill it up with water probably not anyway uh but i'm going to just dig her out a, t uh, a pathway that's always all at the same level i'm going to use just use turtles for doing that because a turtle will dig quite happily at if i go down one more block here for example i could just go down here like this and then put a turtle down here like that and then take tunnel so i'm gonna have to get this one out of the way i've got a turtle with me you'll notice my inventory is nice and clear because i've got these bags and you can put in the ender chest backpack the other bags which is great so i've got a turtle here for example i've got this mining turtle to here too not sure what fuel it's got left in but we can soon sort that out so you can put this down here and then you can say tunnel uh however many blocks that's going to be like about 20 i guess 20 blocks and then it should just drig a hole which is three two by three wide you put it in the middle and it'll just carry on like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do that um all the way around the village so we have a nice level i'll probably have to do this multiple times to get right down to the bottom level so the bottom level will probably be in the lowest corner which is over here i think by the water all the rest of this is lit up uh so everything is very safe at the moment but today's and i've also got a lot of markers what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick up some of these chests these are basically all markers for um spawners i don't think i've picked them up yet something i'm going to do well, i'm just going to pick up this turtle because i don't want it to to run on at the moment because i want to go back to the main base and we can carry on from there in fact i maybe i'll just leave it here just, i don't need it for the time being. and he won't des despawn it'll just stop at position 20 so we know where it is somewhere about here <laughs> can't find it okay never mind let's go back home i think i have in my white backpack the teleportation sigil let's use that instead of the boat table of recall it's just a standard one yes that's good we can just use this one because it is night time and i don't want that i don't want moths spawning around here Not, they can't get in but been going back to base is the quickest way so for the time being i will plan to I actually do plan to build a railway from here out this will be the intermediate stop out here you'll see also i've got these chests i think i showed you this last time actually where oh, i'm going to move this out of my hand otherwise i'll try and tell you what again every time you right click something i've been fishing up i've actually got a lot more as well and i think i also covered that last time as well as well i think i want to say this because <laughs> i've actually been playing I've been testing some stuff out and I've done a lot of things in between time. So all these chests are full with different uh, items. So a lot of these Neptune bounty chests, which are very good. And quite a few books. Well, actually, probably not that many books. It'd be nice to get some more books, as you can see. It's actually filled right up to here where we've got an efficiency for book. So there we are. So today, what I'd like to do is i would like to start doing something in here but i'm probably i'll probably set it all up and then come back and do it for example i'd like to use some i don't need these these down here and we could probably put simple storage in here as a as a mechanism for sorting stuff out the only thing about simple storage is when it puts items back in it'll put them in any chest so it won't for example put these the my gem chest here this is my, i suppose this is my gem chest 
items which come when you're mining or this one here where you've got different items and it doesn't put them all in the same chest it'll put them in a, a chest maybe with the highest priority like that um it's actually I'm going to take these two range these two range update upgrade and do something with that but what i'd like to do today and i'm going to take this with me is to make another device i'm going to make the harvester from cyclic i think it is Cycling has two really cool bits actually. They've got a, a block breaker, they've got an item collector, and they've got a harvester. Now the harvester is really good, <laughs> and it's not too difficult to make. It's just a couple of emeralds, dispenser, and some um, and some slime balls and some leather quartz. So let's make one of those up. So we needed two of each, and we need we need two of these, two of these, three slime balls. I can even remember where I put things if I actually put them in the right place. Um, put one of those back. Oh, I can't put it back. Do it from here. Huh? Three slime balls and dispenser. Now, what I've got to be careful about is uh, dispenser recipes. Let's have a look at that because I forgot what the recipe for dispenser is. So I think it's a bow and redstone like this. Or you can make it with a dropper and sticks like this. Or you can, yeah, a dropper and a bow. It's basically a dropper and a bow. Now, let's go get some bows out of here. You've got to be really careful with this, and I'll show you why. I'll demonstrate it. <clears throat> I've got a very favourite bow here. This is my very, very favourite bow. And it's got infinity and everything in it. So let's just tell oh, they're actually not in there. They're in the top of the right here, aren't they? So there I've got some bows. So we needed some cobblestone and some redstone, didn't we? To make one of these so when you make this thing so we want that we want the dispenser you click it into place so for example i can make this one it's taken my amazing bow i don't want it to do that obviously not that would be very bad you can press shift you can hold w down by the way and press shift and then we can make our dispenser with just a bow with no enchants on it i have lost bows in the past doing that and had to go back to the latest backup to get it back again <laughs> Right, so that's that item. This is so. This let's make this thing up now. I should be able to craft click that in. That's not too bad. This the next one you need with this because this basically just breaks breaks stuff and drops it on the ground. You need to collect it. So they've got an item collector here. So we need a, two droppers, uh, three dispensers, uh, three hop, sorry, three hoppers, two of these crystallized amber things. Oh, one of those sorry a block of lapis and uh, iron ingots and what i'm going to do is make six of these things and i'm going to double that i'm going to make two so we need um for two we need six fives we need 30 iron let's just do it like this i'm not sure how if i've got any hoppers in here actually i've got five let's just let's just reduce this down to 25. mask all that away Redstone, I think I've still got with me. And I think that's all I need, actually. Oh, I need chests, of course. Yes, I need chests. How many chests do we need? Don't know. Just make a whole load of them. I've got. I actually have got them in my red bag, but I'm going to take some and just leave them here because it's. I'll make eight of these. Eight, four, thirty-two chests. And then we can just make up the hoppers in the middle of that like that. So that's dead easy, and quick. This is part of the reason I haven't bothered automating it this yet because I haven't really found a point as it happens. They've also got a trash avoid trash void as well. I probably should make one of these because that's also quite a handy thing. So droppers, we should be able to make a couple of those. Not even eight, we'll just make two. Oh, hold on, it's two per, isn't it? Let's just do that. Item collectors do both, so we just need two blocks and four and four iron ingots. Two blocks of lapis. Actually, I'm using my shorts on lapis, so I might have to do something about that. And then we needed two of these crystallized amber. We made that in the past. I probably should find a way to automate this because it's a bit of it's a bit of a recipe. Look for the recipe of that. This is a, my preferred recipe, but I'm not sure 
if I shouldn't go for this one because I've got lots of uh, M ender pearls and I en eyes of ender. And the next thing we're going to do, actually, as it happens, is to go and make a spawner uh, and change a spawner. One of the uh, apotheosis things that you can do. Really cool, as it happens. In redstone control, I'm also going to make this thing. This is a, a remote lever and it needs some smooth stone slab. It needs a lever and it needs a stone button. So let's go let's do some of those so a smooth stone slab by the way is just stone which has been cooked through again we need six of pieces of stone we'll go and cook that up in here like that and that will make six pieces of I'll probably more, i probably only need three it happens of smooth stone let that let that do that while we're doing something else oh we need some buttons that we need i was going to make I think this makes six. I'm probably make six of these things. So we need six levers and six buttons. Let's do this. Probably that'll do. Leave one of those behind. Like that. We'll click that and you can dump, pull, pull everything together. And then we want six stone buttons. So we need six pieces of stone. So we've got six stones on six levers and then we need six six slabs we should have six pieces of smooth stone now in fact just do it like that you get our six slabs and then we can make our our, th our thing up so it was levers on top of that and on top of that there was buttons now these things do not stack so maybe it's i'll just shift click them out and then we can put the others away i only want one to start with but I do need another few levers as it happens. Let's just sort that. Let's remove those and sort it again and then put those in. So we've got two in here and we can label these as well. I, I'm pretty sure I haven't collected the spawners yet. No, I haven't. I have to go and collect some spawners. That takes a few seconds because so, um, I can't exactly remember where they are they're, and they're sometimes a bit hard to find anyway no never mind well shit i'll make some more levers because i would like to demonstrate that so we'll make another six le levers and i'll demonstrate what these do really neat as it happens very easy what you do is you put down a lever it doesn't matter where you put it down anywhere you want like that and you take one of these remote levers here and you shift right click this so that's now position safe. So whenever you right click this, it changes the lever and it doesn't matter how far away it is. Obviously, that's going to be a a bit of time. There's something else I have been doing, I'm going to say, I think, because I can't remember if I've done it or not. No, I haven't done it. <laughs> Oops. Right, I want to go underneath here and I want to drill down here and I want to make a new level. And I want to excavate a new level below this blocks here. Uh, about six deep and i'm gonna have to do that with the, the turtle again so we'll do we'll do that and i'll and i'll show you next time so right have i got everything i wanted now i haven't made up the um collectors yet have i what do we need for the item collectors this one do i oh I need to do the frame so I'm missing for this because I've forgotten already nothing so we can make two of these the reason I'm going to make two is I'm also going to make some stone slabs as well and probably not very many um so we'll make six worth six worth that'll give us about 12 I think what I'm going to do with these I'm going to automate some collection of um this stuff <laughs> so, oh okay those are getting those are getting redone so let's just put a slab on top of this like this where's my slab gone to here 12. so when these now grow they will automatically be put into here so all i need to break these like that and then put them in on top and, and the item collectors don't require any power which is great so i can carry on doing this I'll, i won't do it for now i'll just a few in place like that as you can see you can 
basically do this and every time they go they will then drop I wonder if I've got two that's fine just need to break this corner piece out because I don't need that anymore and you'll see what I've done just put that on there so we just need to collect these items now to collect the items all you need to do is to put down an item collector round about the middle and I think the, the middle will probably be this this block won't it here it's got a good range the item collectors um, I think it's something like nine by nine I don't do that do I Let's try that like this it doesn't collect anything yet until you turn it on you have to re turn it on so it's always on like that so you can then drop anything you like so let's just drop let's just drop these down it just disappears and you'll find that those have actually gone into the item collector here they're very very fast you don't even see it disappearing it's, it's even faster than my magnetic uh, I've got magnetism on here magnet 3 and it's fast well much faster than that so here I was going to do a farm it doesn't farm everything up but it will farm up all of this stuff I'm not sure which farm I would like to do I think this one I will put the farmer down in fact I'm going to put the farmer down here because um, it has a very long range this thing can do these these are nine by nines aren't they you can see that there's basically nine by nine so in the middle here is the middle you put this down here like this and it immediately harvests everything up because it must have some power in it that's strange I didn't give it any power <laughs> okay it's immediately harvest everything up so then we have to pick up the bits <laughs> great so we can do that by putting the item collector in here now the item collector will easily be able to do this whole area so let's put it down like that so you put it in the direction you want you see the hole is the bit that's showing out I'm a bit surprised that actually did that because I've got this solar panel in here it does need power this thing so I'm not quite sure what happened there. Well, when I was testing it, it needed power anyway. So this will now pick up all those crops that get they get harvested. We can put these back stuff in here. It's actually even coming over. I think that's even picking stuff up from over here. If it has done it, it'll be into here. But no, it won't be in here yet because it's got it's turned off. You have to remember to turn that on. Not actually oddly enough, you did look, pick up some stone essence because I got the stone essence. So it's even reaching this far. So I'll probably put this in a bad place. Let's just move it again. That's Beatrix. I knew there was four crops in here. I was trying to figure out the, the other ones which should be in here. That should be in the item collector here like this. But I don't want it to farm this particular patch. I only want it to farm this patch. So let's just move it. Where's my where's my pickaxe? I love this pickaxe, by the way. <laughs> really, this is a great pickaxe. That all got picked up into the item item collector too, as you can see, very fast. So it should be able to be put onto this corner here like this, and it will have enough range to do the whole of this farm. I think that is the case. We will have to test it. If not, I just have to move it around a bit until it gets to the optimum place for this and doesn't reach beyond here. So if I grow this stuff up, so in one of my bags, I think the white bag, um, nope, maybe the end of it, I've got the Imperium watering can, so let's just grow stuff up here. Oh, it's actually, oh yes, it's picking up there, that's good. I'm hoping to pick up this one. That's the that's the important one is to pick up. So I'm concentrating on this one. You see what's happening? They're getting harvested straight away, and it picked up that one. That's good. Come on, you grow, because you're an extreme one. Okay, and it did. It didn't definitely pick it up. So the other one would probably be over here somewhere. Well, that's interesting because these are getting picked up from this planter over here or harvester over here I just picked up something there it did say fully grown I don't know whether 
Oh yes, it's definitely got range. You can see how far the range is. Let me just. I'm not sure why that didn't pick those potatoes up. But you can see it's just reached that one there, so that's good. So it will it will cover the whole of this farm. And then <laughs> you'll notice that as well. This is a strange effect I'm getting when you just move off the thing. It gives the white stuff, but it doesn't matter very much. Let's just take this out of my hand. We don't need it. So this will get filled up fairly quickly. And I wanted to empty this out without having, um, without it filling up. Now that's not too difficult. We can use um, storage, simple storage to extract stuff out of here. I actually tried it with conveyor belts, but of course when it's conveyor belt, it's sitting on a conveyor belt, and as soon as it sits on the conveyor belt, it picks it up again. <laughs> I was going, that's not very helpful. I might be able to do it out the back here. Well, we'll see. I haven't built the conveyor belt yet. What I would like to do... So look, we've got any stuff in here? No, but we can actually prove it works. I wonder what he's selling. Where's he gone to? Let's have a look. Oh! <laughs> They're not selling anything. They're... Right, okay, well, I'll just ignore them for the time. Hopefully we don't get a... They may despawn after an hour, I don't know. I'll leave them. So, where else was I? Got distracted. So, most of the stuff we've done, actually, there's quite a lot more in Zyclic. Um, I'm not sure how we make this. Oh, yes, there's more of these. I probably would like to make some of this automation. Now, this one here is Magna Creams. Slime Essence and Blaze Essence. I'm going to go down to the mines and quickly get a, a spawner and I'll show you what we can do with spawners. I don't think I've got one here. I might have as it happens. Have a look. I might have put one into here. No, I haven't. I've got everything else in there. We're <laughs> not a sp actually don't want these. I want to build a trash void and get rid of those then. Let's do that. That might do that actually anyway. Let's do that. Because they're very cheap and <laughs> they are much more useful than trying to find a place to put stone axes and swords right okay so we have a trash void here and i think this is the only one of the packs we need that's pretty easy five nuggets of iron and we've got quite a few of the nuggets of iron and they're coming from one well, i ingot they're coming from fishing as it happens and the chest was all we needed wasn't it we've got the chest on us so let's make one of these like this i'll put this over here to start with i might remove this chest well i will remove this chest Hmm, that was cool. Uh, right, put this down. I'm not sure where to put it. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll just break this block here and put it down here. And then we can throw stuff away in it. So we can right click this, I guess. Oh, we'll have to right click it with an item. Let's go and get those swords and junk that we don't want from in here. What if I have to feed it with something? That might be something else that's interesting. I don't think I've got any uses for this still. Can I right click this? No, I can't. Okay, maybe I have to use a hopper on it. Okay. Let's just do that. I reckon that we could use a hopper on the top of it. Yeah, it's got a hole on the top. That's good. So we've got a hopper spare. No, because I used them all up. So we need six more or five more of these. And a hopper. Put one chest in the middle. The amount of iron you use in hoppers is quite a lot. Actually. Over time it adds up. Let's put this in here like that. Put the hopper in there like that. And then we can put the hopper on top of this. Feed it straight in. And then I should be able to just chuck these things into here and it should just disappear. Good. Gone forever. That's actually a nice thing. I like that. Right, I'm off down to the mines and going to go and get... Uh, let's see if we can find a spawner. Now, I've got silk touch on this pickaxe. So this is very important. To have silk touch when we're going to grab a spawner because it's not going to break. It's just going to pick it up. And apotheosis allows you to do stuff with it. And one of the things it allows you to do is to make... Um, well, I suppose the best way in is here, I think, is the way I was doing it. It's been a while. <laughs> nope, not here. Um, There's another entrance here, isn't there? Yeah, this is the way in. And it's what was I apotheosis allows you to configure um, these things 
incredibly well actually you can do all sorts of things with them so let's have a look on the minimap first of all i'll go to my things here and now these are not disabled so i should be able to see them all so where's the nearest one let's have a look there's that m and the, but they're all in yellow so i have to go right okay they're over here so there's one 72 blocks 50 blocks that's a creeper spawner so have a look is the best way to get through here i don't think so i think i've got to go around the back here i'm just having a look at the map and i'll go and find all the rest of the spawners later on in my own time they're all safe i think as far as i remember wrong way let's go this way i'm just being quiet because i need to find out where they are <laughs> gosh I um, thought we were going the wrong way, and they're all behind me over here. Oh, there's a husk spawner 41 blocks away. This bit's a bit tricky because I uh, oh, excavated the wrong thing. No, it's not here, it's behind this wall. As you can see, we have to go around the, the long way, but I probably can break my way through here actually. Now, one of the tricks you can do with this, and I'm not sure if I've done it already, you can. With the, if you press two, I've programmed this to be two, yes, exactly. And I set it up so you've got a two by one mining or excavation thing. And it's actually, if I look on the, so I'll show you from the beginning, let's go to the options and controls. And <clears throat> down here we'll find, yes, or excavation. So two does a shape edit and three does a shape toggle. And alt left is what I've set it to being. Um, to be because all the rest of them are conflicting of course is to uh, or excavate so so if i hold down uh, press three it'll tell me i'm doing a shape now if i just hold down alt and left click and dig it out it'll build a little tunnel it's just built a little tunnel through here and i should be able to find that spawn a little bit more easily <laughs> rather than go there we are like this so let's break this one up and you see in here what have I got? <laughs> Actually, not bad in this chest. As it happens, a reasonable amount of rewards. Let's put those down there. Two anvils, not bad at all. One player head. I'm not quite sure what we use a player head for, but we can then break away this, of course. Let's just pick up the chest as well. And you'll see I've got this spawner. And you see Apotheosis is telling us what we've got. Um, it says, Entity is a Minecraft husk. Actually, I don't really want a husk spawn. I would like, maybe I would use that for something else. We've got some stone here. Let's put this stone in here and fill it in. So, and while I'm here, let's just disable this and remove this husk spawner because it's gone. So to, if it, there's a trick here. It's a husk spawn. I've got two. So let's just click this one here and disable it. So it's not that one. <laughs> so right click it again. Uh, enable that one again. And then disable this one now it's gone so we know which one we need to delete so we go back again here and then we can take the one that's disabled and we just simply delete and delete and it's gone so the next one is where over that direction the, the one i would like really is a cave spawner because a cave spider spawner because they are um very frequent i'm not sure i'm going the right way now no i'm not they're through here actually that's interesting let's just go map i'm not sure or zoom let's just zoom in the map here i'm probably better going this direction i think and just than finding them that way tell you what i'll find them and i'll come back right i found them i think this is probably a cave spider but i haven't actually labeled this one it must have been one of the early ones I found. So let's just put, let's just dig this one up. Spawner, yeah, it does tell me it's a cave spider spawner. Now these are good because cave spies, cave spiders are just more of a menace than anything else. Uh, they don't really give you anything other than the spider wood. So it's probably better to use spiders because they're smaller. So let's just go back home now. You can see I keep putting my torch on my right hand side when I'm coming out and going back on the left hand side when I go back again so you can see these are going back now which direction is it not that way because that's an end one 
and this one is here and you can see it's just going down here like this and this is the way I get that's the way I find my way around I think it's a good trick I'm still going the right way yes in fact you might even remember we've actually come through here so the next one down is not that way that's not that way so it must be this way yep I'll just double check yep I need to put them slightly in a better place when they get to junctions it doesn't take very long to go through them out through these but we can do that I'll tell you what I'll we'll see you about when I'm back at home so we can actually you can find out what you can do with these things by just looking at the uses of them um, and it'll tell you now the one I want to do first is I would like to actually put a redstone control on it just using a redstone comparator so there's all sorts of things you can do with this like spore ignore the spawn cap um, what's this one say ignores nearby players ignore spawn conditions so, and that's a dragon's egg well, I haven't done the dragon yet probably should be doing that one what's this one in the the, the behavior of modifiers must be held in the opposite hand okay change the entity with the spawn egg so that would convert this to a witch spawn the witch spawn I haven't got witches yet so this would make increases the, the speed um, decreases the minimum spawn delay and increases the maximum spawn delay it basically makes it go faster Increases the spawn count with fermented speed array. Increase, then increases the max nearby entities. Uh, increases the required player range. So we basically make it go further away. So you can activate this from from a further distance. Well, that's quite good. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put this down. First of all, make uh, two red, redstone comparators. So for that, we just need a whole load of redstone. Let's take... I think this will probably be good actually. I haven't got any sticks with me, I just noticed. And in fact, I want to get rid of some of these ores I don't want with me, so I don't need this inferior more. What else don't I need? Don't need the diamonds. And I'll just shift click this into I do want some I do want some redstone. I'll take that out again. Stone we don't need. Player heads we'll put down in here as well. I think is there anything else there that can go? No. That's probably that'll probably do for now. So we needed some uh, redstone and some sticks. Sticks are in here. And I probably might have to make a stack of stack of redstone sticks actually do so we've got plenty oh wrong way around. We've got plenty of red uh well that took a long time. We've got plenty of redstone, so that's no big deal. And then we're gonna make the thing, so we need some more of nether quartz I think we need one per and three sticks and some stone and did I put the stone away no I didn't good so we can make some comparators if I remember rightly the recipe is three pieces of stone underneath where's the stone gone to like this three redstone torches oh shit that's not so easy to do <laughs> like that so we've got two comparators let's just move this out of the way so what you do now is you just put one of these down this is the husk spawner we'll just put it down and then we can right click this with one of these and then it goes off straight away it doesn't spawn anything because it, first of all it was too light and secondly it's because we, we well actually don't know why it happens just too light i think and also we were quite quick so we're going to do that one so we've now got a husk spawner which is under control it requires redstone so you have to turn the redstone on that's what i was making the um the remote red things for so we're going to do the same thing again with this one put that down right click it with that you'll see it stops straight away and now we're going to convert this one to being an enderman spawner i've got plenty of enderman spawner we've got those as well so we've got wither skeletons i'm going to probably do wither skeletons chicken spawners undoubtedly not so we'll take one of these eggs here is there anything else to skeleton spawn egg and we'll just right click this on here like this so you'll see there's a, there's a small spider in that right click it you get an enderman in it brilliant huh I should tell off that i don't need those on anymore so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set that up between episodes i'm going to mine out all of that area around there i think 
we'll have a look at the farm how this is doing because sugarcane is something I need reasonable amounts as it happens hasn't done anything yet but it is on let's just double check it's working it might be night time that's probably the problem oh it's night time I may get attacked by phantoms oh no I won't get attacked by phantoms but we'll, we'll see if any of these grow I'm actually not sure this is the best thing to use. I would probably be better with using end rods because they provide light. Let's do that. I think I've got a few end rods. Not that many. 44. Okay, plenty as it happens. <laughs> and they provide light. So let's just let's just or excavate all these slabs away. Like that, you can do the whole that one go. They'll all have been picked up by the item collector. So, all you need to do now is just shift right click and end roll onto them like that. And that'll provide light so these things will grow faster. I'll do one, two, three, like that, and then just do all of these. They will grow faster because, it's got the, because they're illuminated. You could also do these end rods, of course, with. Um, cactus and that's a good way of doing it so these will now break so we just need to get this turned on with some yeah let's get this going and maybe we'll see a few effects got my tent slabs in here but nothing's grown yet come on i know this works because i've tested it but i know sugar cane's also can be quite difficult. Nope, still none. Tell you what, I'll quick sleep and come back in a second and see if anything happens. Ha! That doesn't work. <laughs> I'll have to find a different design um, for that one. So what we've got to say it's got on offer. Oh yes, that's reminding me. Nothing useful for a moon today, which is actually interesting. What is very good is this charm I've got on. So for example, at the moment, our saturation of food are both very good, but I've got a charm, I've got one from these guys, a gluttony charm from Dark Utilities. What this means is you can immediately eat stuff. I can show you with the experience orbs, they, that will demonstrate it as well. You're not taking time, but you just, it's a whole lot of experience because I haven't got enough experience. <clears throat> that was, this is full, 496. So for example, these experience orbs, say if you take one of these and right click it, normally it takes a few seconds, but watch this, this goes straight away. And that's a gluttony charm, so you get levels of XP coming in in that sense, and also food. So when you're fighting anybody, you want to re refood or resaturate, you just eat food, it's as simple as that. So I can't do this at the moment because I've got too much food, and it looks like the... Um, XP gave me more health saturation as well. Okay, so I'm fully saturated now. But we'll, we'll see that another time. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Next time we'll, we'll have a look at what I've been doing on setting up this um, mob spawner with the spawners. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now. <laughs>